not always agree on how to get to that kind of society. Everybody sees it from a different perspective. You have also been accused of ever being critical of the government and offering no solutions. That is us as opposition. Many times we offer many solutions alongside the criticism. Though we believe we are not a consultancy for the government. It's, we are not really supposed to be a consultancy for the government. When we believe we are right, as times has proved we are wrong on the current uh, NYS saga, we stand our ground. This is partly why I asked for this meeting. Our country is going through challenging times. As insecurity has exploded, we have asked for the involvement of the county governments in addressing the problem of security. Because we believe that um, security, as other sectors of our economy, should also be devolved so that the governors and their uh, um, officers get to know what is happening in the counties. That's why we are proposing a security, uh, a, a county security committee chaired by the governor. We have also asked for the completion of the security sector reforms as envisaged in the Constitution. We have also asked a call for a program of winning the hearts instead of antagonizing communities as we confront terrorism. We have called for a coordinated approach to the war on corruption. Because corruption must be fought through properly <coughs> organized institutions not by merely making pronouncements and chest thumping. There have been deliberate attempts through legislation to roll back democratic space, including the media freedom. And this, you have already, um, uh, Linus has talked about. And for this, as you know, we have gone to court, and the courts have agreed with us. The revolution has not been fully accepted by everyone, and so county governments that are the most critical aspect of our constitution are struggling. I've been saying several times that the revolution in this country has many enemies, and many and powerful enemies. Some of them are silent, but they are very lethal. An example I want to give you is when we were at Bomas, the chairman of the then Devolution Committee, Dr. the late Dr. Dian Bombay, was assassinated uh, uh, brutally in his residence road by people who have never been brought to book up to name. They were arrested, the suspects were arrested, were arraigned in court. At the end of the day, the police officers who were investigating are the ones who eventually found themselves in court. We have consistently appealed to the government to meet the constitutional obligation of releasing specified percentage of the budget to the counties in a timely and predictable manner. We have equally called for an increase in the amount to the county to secure devolution. You will see the orchestrated campaign to tra transfer back health services back to the national government. It is deliberate. It is basically being orchestrated by forces that do not want uh, devolution. Because it's not that there's no capacity at the county government. 